Hi there again, Troy here uh, with another video uh, on how you actually move your NFTs from one wallet into your Trezor. Now, you would want to do this if you have potentially minted an NFT, or you may have just bought an NFT off a marketplace like OpenSea or something like that, and you've bought it on a wallet that you don't want to uh, store it in for the long term. So you may want to move it then into your Trezor wallet or any hardware wallet to store it for the long term. So first thing we want to do, as per the previous videos, we want to access our Trezor wallet because that way we can find what the actual Trezor wallet address is so we can copy it. So we know where we're actually going to send our NFT to. So the first thing we want to do is go onto the trezor.io website, which I've done here at the top here, trezor.io. And then when we go to this website, once again, we can either uh, download and use the uh, application or we can just go to Trezor Suite for web. So once again, I'm going to just go to Trezor Suite for web. So we click on that and a new tab opens. We get to this point here. It's saying connect your Trezor. So you plug your Trezor into your USB port. Now, once you've plugged your Trezor into the USB port, your Trezor Model T will have the little screen that lights up and it'll actually say on the screen, not connected, and then tap to connect. So we just do one little tap on the Trezor screen and then that will then bring up our pin that we need to enter. Now, that pin is the pin you need to enter when you first set up the Trezor. So on the Trezor Model T screen, I'm now punching in the pin. So I put that pin into the actual screen and then we press the green tick. And then it'll come up on the Trezor Model T screen as a verified pin and confirmation. And you will have your homepage pop up uh, on the screen as well. And then it'll say, please type your passphrase on the connected host. And on the actual computer screen, we can see here we've got the select wallet type and we just need to select standard wallet. So once we've selected standard wallet, we will then see that in the Trezor suite, it'll start loading up our portfolio. And we can see the portfolio loading here and that'll get loaded up and then we'll be able to access our Ethereum address. So then when we send our NFT to that Ethereum address, we'll know what it is. So if we scroll down here once again, we can see we've got the Bitcoin and the Ethereum uh, assets that are sitting here we click on ethereum we see over here we've got the send receive and trade buttons we just need to click receive and then it pops up here on the screen show full address so we want to get that full address because that's what we need now once again it'll say the eth receiving address and at the top it'll say confirm on the trezor so if you look at your trezor model t screen it'll say on it receive address along with the actual Trezor address. And we just click on the big green button on the Model T screen that says confirm. And once that is done, that pop-up leaves from up the top. And we now have a, a, a button down the bottom that we can press copy address. So we simply press copy address. It'll appear in the top right here, copied to clipboard. And so once again, we can just uh, highlight and remember our first four and last four digits or you can write them down, whatever you choose is easier. So in this case, once again, the first four digits are 0x38, and the last four digits are D0FS. So once that is done, we now have the receiving address. So we now have the Trezor address that we want to send the NFT to. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go to our profile on OpenSea that is currently holding the NFT. Now, if you bought the NFT through OpenSea, for example, you would be in OpenSea.io and the actual profile where you are will have the NFT that you have bought. Now, this is just a random NFT that I have in one of my wallets. And I can see it here because I have this actual wallet address connected to OpenSea. So we can see at the top here, if I highlight over the uh, yellow circle here, this can be a varying different colors. It's not always yellow. It shows us that this particular um, address has 0.012 Ethereum in it, and it is an actual address that is holding this NFT. So the next step I want to do now is I want to send this NFT to the Trezor address that I just copied before. So what I do now is I click on the actual NFT, and that takes us to the actual page in OpenSea 
that has that NFT. And then up the top right hand corner here, there's a little arrow and you see as I hover over it, it pops up with the word transfer. So we want to click on that transfer button. And then from that point, we get to the screen here that says transfer. And if you're reading the actual web address at the top, we can see here it says opensea.io slash assets slash Ethereum slash the actual uh, wallet address. Okay. And then we've got transfer at the end. So now, quite simply, it says here, transfer this particular NFT to, and in here, we want to put the wallet address we want to transfer it to. So we just simply left click and then paste the wallet address in that we copied from the Trezor website just before. And the final step, the easiest step of all of them is simply click on transfer one item. And when we click on that button, I'll get the confirmation on MetaMask to press and that will send that NFT to my Trezor address. Now, there are a few different websites that you can use to send your NFT. I find that OpenSea is the easiest one to use. Uh, it's the largest NFT marketplace, um, but there are various different marketplaces you can use to do this process. I just find OpenSea is the easiest. All right, guys. Well, until next time, I'll chat to you guys soon. All right, bye-bye.